Good morning. We are going to Pyramid Hill in Butler County. They invited us out to come check out this place. So we are celebrating Tim's birthday here. Oh, you sure did find a snake. Whoa. Something really fun about this place is we get to tour it on an art cart. We're gonna get two of these Mommy, to fit our family. The department underneath of these seats. Oh, I was wondering. Well, that's awesome. Harris and Chloe and Hallie maybe in the back. We have a girls' cart and a boys' cart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the boys and boys. Boys only have two people, three people. We're gonna have six. We should put one of the twins with the. We could do that. It's into what you need to look for: a giant barbell. What's a barbell? To so wait, that thing thing. I you're think gonna I lick, found listen, it. Listen, you're gonna lick. Look for giant lips. Looks like the Stonehenge. How many stones make me? A man in a garden. I have an umbrella and something made of insects. We have been really loving our new house and it's been awesome and there have been so many fun projects to get to do to make it our own. But there's only so much we can do at once and so I've been trying to be mindful of just giving ourselves a lot of grace and saying you know what we're not gonna get it all done right now and that's okay but there's still another part of me that's like I need it done like there's parts of like organization and things that I just need for my mind to be able to be clear and even on those things like some stuff just takes some time and it can't all be done all at once are you having fun Do you want to come right up here with me or do you like sitting back there? Sitting back here. One thing that I have been trying to remember though is we still need to enjoy life. Like even though there's so many tasks that need to get done, we have so many people that we need to love. And being able to take the time to spend the day when somebody invites us out, like I can't pass that up because Making memories is the most important thing. This was just a really good time to get out, to relax, to remove myself from the house because that's one thing that's key for me is when I'm surrounded by an atmosphere of places of, that I know of things that I know need to get done, that's where my mind is all the time. No matter how much I want to spend time with my kids, if I'm there and I'm around things that need to get done, it's too tempting to just do those tasks instead of spend time with them. So for me personally, it's really good to just remove myself from that atmosphere and go somewhere where I can actually enjoy them and put all my focus on them. But how many are standing up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine. We haven't done a lot of art museums and honestly they kind of intimidate me with bringing a big group of kids but this is awesome this is like the best art museum ever because it's out in the open and it's outside and you get energy out this is really cool Olivia did you find a stone your size hi hi are you our mountain climber yeah yeah Looks like somebody got buried underneath of there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Metal. Made out of metal? Mm -hmm. All right. M-E-T-A-L. Scratch out that A right there. I think the kids really appreciate that too because they get all of mom and dad's attention and for me too I think it's just really healthy for me especially coming outside enjoying the outdoors getting nice sunshine good weather it's just healthy to be able to breathe in the fresh air and walk around or ride around and just have fun look at that thing that looks like a dragon that is a dragon that's pretty cool those are fun You get a bunch of, uh, find out a bunch of this, this art sculpture? Oh, yes, it's lightning bolts, giant cube made of wood, and I have an umbrella. 
an early pioneer house built in the 1820s. This unusual stone house was built next to the spring on the south side. Go inside the ground level and notice the stone arch ceiling which supports the second floor. The wood beam roof has rotted away. This is somebody's house back in the 1820s. Wait, this is actually built. Well, you know, they didn't just build it on. No, this was from the 18th. Did they copy it? No. What? Somebody used to live in this. Like a real person like us. So they didn't just model it, they actually. No, this was a, somebody built this house to live in. Yep, there was a second story. Yeah, they had a second story. You had to, in order to go up to the second floor, you had to walk around outside. Careful, because I don't know how sturdy it is. Look at this. So this is actually a pretty big house. Do you think they probably would have had a large family or a small family? They probably had a large family. It may have been more people than we have in our family. But we could, we could totally make this work. Yeah. Just gonna build a little roof. I really can't get over how cool of an idea this art park is. Like, it's been amazing. It's called Pyramid Hill in Butler County in Ohio. And if you're in the area or you're coming to the area, definitely stop by and check it out because this has been so much fun. The weather's been great today and getting to drive around and look at art and the kids get to get out and they can run around and they can go touch the art. That's also a really big thing. Like at museums, it's like, don't touch it. But here, go for it, go touch it. See if it spins, see if it turns, like get in there and just explore. <laughs> the kids are really enjoying this a lot more than I thought they would. I thought they would be like, oh, it's a big sculpture. It's a piece of art. But they are actually really big in this. What, it moves? Wow. Hi, Livia. Hey, you're loving this too, aren't you? This is the best art museum ever. Yeah, if you're gonna take your kids to art, this is the way to do it. Look how pretty this is. That's beautiful. Do you wanna take some pictures here? What did you find, Hallie? A snake? Oh, you sure did find a snake. Whoa, that's so cool. It's really so cool. Oh, off into the water. That is so cool. There's so many different places to take like these pictures and hang out and just relax. Something important that I try to remember whenever planning things for our family or accepting a free trip to some place really cool is just thinking about the benefits for the family as a whole because it's great that the kids will enjoy it, but it's also very important that mom and dad will enjoy it because a lot of emphasis just needs to be put on mom and dad's mental health. I feel like from over the years of me struggling with it and not even knowing when I was struggling with it, um, now coming out and being on the other side and being aware of how I'm doing mentally, it's just really important to remember like my needs need to come first before I can meet my kids' needs and that's okay. That's something that I felt really guilty about and used to just pour everything out of me until I had to take care of myself. And that wasn't healthy for anybody. And it wasn't teaching my kids to be healthy either. So coming to a place like this was something that I was looking forward to, that I was gonna enjoy. And, um, and the kids ended up enjoying it as well. We came actually planning to do some hiking and stuff too and we got a packed lunch and stuff for it, but it just recently rained, so it's kind of muddy. So I think we're gonna skip that, but it would be really fun to come back and do all the hiking trails they got. Livia's ready to go hiking. Daddy, I found a, a snake and now I've just done that. You are really good at spotting stuff. Very observant. You found the lip. You're sitting on some lips. <laughs> it's a very good bench. It is a very good bench. It's like a roller coaster canoe. That's pretty cool. Life's twists and turns. 
I didn't really know what to expect. I just knew, you know what, we're gonna rent some carts, we're gonna get to see some really awesome art, and we'll just go and explore together. So when you are figuring out what to do as a family, think of your interests as well. And, and if you feel like you have forgotten what your interests are, try a bunch of different things and start figuring out what you do enjoy. Maybe it's stuff that you used to enjoy, maybe it's new things that you haven't tried before. But I think it's really important that you get out there, take your family along with you, and find new things that everyone can try and see. How's your lunch? Wow, that is a giant pepperoni. Lunch is over and it is time to head back home. We've had such a good time. We were not able to find everything on the scavenger hunt, so we would need to come back sometime and enjoy this, and I think all the kids want to come back, so. You found the lightning. <laughs> we just found one. Now I think we only have one left, but we got to get going. Still have life to do at home. So. I found the this lightning first. Hey, good job. You've been really good at noticing stuff. 